Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Comedy Show. I'm Brad Tassel, and since we last met, uh, I'm uh, in the Mediterranean somewhere, and I have been to Greece and other places, which, oddly, uh, when you go to these towns, if you don't go to the tourist attraction, it looks a lot like St. Lucia. The buildings are from, like, the 70s and a lot of KFC signs. Uh, but we have a tremendous show, so let's get to the jokes now, starting with uh, this Alex Jones has been slightly penalized by a jury in Connecticut for profiting off of his lies and defaming the families of the Sandy Hook shooting. Uh, the jury awarded Jones to pay only $965 million. Uh, hey, at least it's not a billion, right? And also this week, Infowars.com announced a special. Get a case of Brain Force Plus supplement for only nineteen million dollars. <laughs> for an extra shipping of seven million, a bottle of Super Male Vitality. The sad part: his idiot followers are probably going to do it. All right. Oh, boy! Did you hear that? Something just hit the side of the ship. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> that was scary. Hey, sad news: Angela Lansbury has died at the age of ninety-six. Uh, good try, bitch, said Betty White's ghost. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh Mrs. Lansbury, by the way. Uh, wait, uh, click something. Mrs. Lansbury will go down in history as the only resident of Cabot Cove to die of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> the rest were murdered. <laughs> uh, wait for laughter. <laughs> hey, federal investigators say they have enough evidence to charge Hunter Biden with tax and gun charges. And Democrats around the nation have responded, go ahead. <laughs> the, the president went on with Jake Tapper and said that he is proud that his son is now on the straight and narrow. And as president, if Hunter is convicted of a crime, he will use the full power of the presidency to take a helicopter to the prison to visit him. <laughs> All right. Hey, and Donald Trump's state of mind will be the focus of the next January 6th committee hearing. Uh, here is a preview of that meeting. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay. Hey, Hillary Swank. Love her. Hillary Swank is pregnant with twins at the age of 48. She is thrilled and calls the whole experience such a miracle. And at her age, she is hoping for a second miracle, that the children not only be born healthy, of course, but also ready for middle school. <laughs> okay. Okay, next up, NASA's recent DART mission, kind of a apropos, DART mission, successfully changed the trajectory of the asteroid Demorphus, when its spacecraft intentionally slammed into the huge space rocket. A spokesman for the agency said, it'll sure hit us now. <laughs> put it in our path. Kidding. By the way, critics of the mission have pondered why NASA can hit a small asteroid in space, but can't seem to find the moon. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is something good for a lot of a lot of people. President Biden pardoned thousands of people convicted and imprisoned with minor marijuana offenses. With a warning, though, I want to be blunt. <laughs> Not one more toke over the line, sweet Jesus. Not one toke over the line. Uh, try hard. Oh wow, this one. Uh, buckle up. The question everyone has this week is whether the fact that Dr. Oz tortured and murdered more than 300 puppies, 31 pigs, and 661 rabbits in needless experiments at Columbia from 1989 to 2010 will sink his chances for a Senate seat in Pennsylvania. Uh, one conservative voter was a little put off and remarked, well, what he did to those cute animals is hard to take, but as long as he makes sure to strap down a molested 10-year-old to a bed and force you to have a baby and then put her in prison, I can forgive him. <laughs> yeah, I know, rough. Yeah. Uh, today in Nevada, ooh, tough day, tough day in Nevada for Republican Senate candidate Adam 
Black Salt? L-A-X-A-L-T? Anybody? 14 members of his own family sent a letter endorsing his opponent. <laughs> I say that's nothing, by the way. My entire family but one have been, have been boycotting this show since March 2020. <laughs> I know what he's going through. So I'm not going to vote for him, though. All right. Hey, Emma Roberts. Wow. Whew. Emma Roberts is dating Cody John after splitting with ex Garrett Headland. Wow. And if you're like me, you just heard blah, 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 blah. So, wow. Okay. Actor Mark Hamill is honored to be the ambassador of Ukraine's Army of Drones. The star nice. was also contacted personally by Ukrainian President Zelensky himself and asked to be the face of his drone army. Hamill, who is, of course, Luke Skywalker, uh, but he also voices some of the most famous cartoon <laughs> characters of all time uh in the conversation mark said using his loop persona is of course fine but it might be better for the war effort if as the drones attacked russian targets they laughed like the joker <laughs> that's not how the joker laughs i can't, I can't do it anybody can you? alice anybody okay hey jamie lee curtis signed a contract to never again appear in another halloween film after halloween ends uh agents for uh mike myers said that bitch is dead to me okay two more and then we'll get out of here elon <laughs> musk said you can't win them all when asked about his 18 year old daughter changing her name to wilson to never be associated with musk because as she says he is basically a full-on communist and neo-marxist the Tesla Lothario said he has a great relationship with his other nine children, <laughs> at least until they someday meet him. <laughs> and all bets are off. All right. Last one. Last one. And then you're going to have the great show. I can't, I can't wait to see it later. I apologize. <laughs> uh, King Charles III will be crowned in May next year, announced the palace in England today. The date is important because the royal family all hope that Charles dies by April. <laughs> dies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait to see what happens after this. I'm Brad Tassel. Steve, take over. It's